as you work more with Zoho Docs and your digital locker, you'll eventually get to a point where you have lots of files within your digital locker and you will want a way in which you can organize your files. And Digital Locker offers a way by creating what are called folders and there's sort of a, vit uh, a virtual folder where you can just drag and drop files inside these folders to put them into categories and organize them so they can easily find them. Now, the way you create a folder inside of your Digital Locker is come up to this first icon here. It's this little yellow folder lookish icon with uh, green plus on it. If you click on that, it will create a new folder and it will name it new folder and you can rename this to whatever you want. Just delete the new folder name and name it uh, anything you like. I'm going to call mine training documents. Now once I've named the folder, I can press the return key on my keyboard or the enter key on my keyboard and it'll save the name for that folder. Now if I decide that I don't like that name and I want to change the name of the folder, I can hover over the folder name and on Windows if I right click or on Mac if I control click I will get a contextual menu and from this contextual menu I can come down here and click rename folder and now I can come in here and I can rename the folder to anything else that I like and then I can press the re enter key on my keyboard or the return key on my keyboard and that will save the file name for that folder. Now how will I get those documents into this folder? Well, to get a document into the folder, all you would need to do is just click on one of the documents and drag it over the folder. And it'll let me know that I'm about to move one file inside this folder. All I need to do now is just let it go, and it will let me know that the copy, it copied that file into that folder because now to the left of the folder, there is this plus icon. If I click on the plus icon, I'm going to see the file in here, presentation for Friday. The plus icon was changed to this minus, minus icon, so if I click on the minus icon, it'll hide the documents, the folder contents. I can copy other documents into that folder by simply selecting them and dragging them into the folder. And now I have two documents inside this folder here. Now I don't have to do it one by one. I can select a whole bunch of documents and copy them into a folder. What I can do is I can click on the first one and then shift click on the last one and it'll select all the documents in between. Or what I can do is on uh, Mac I can click on one file, hold the command key down which is the one next to the uh, left of the space bar and click on each file that I want and they don't have to be next to one another and it'll select the individual files. On Windows you can do that but you have to press the control key to do that. So now I can select all the files that I want here if I'd like and then I can just drag them right on top of the folder and it's letting me know that I'm about to copy four files in here. So I just let it go and I've copied all my files inside this folder. So now they're all nicely tucked away inside this folder. But I didn't mean to copy all the folder, all the files into this folder. There are some files in here that I don't want in this folder. Well, if you want to take a file out of a folder and put it into the root folder or maybe into another folder, all you'll need to do is grab the file like this one here and drag it onto another folder. Or if you want to put it into the root folder, just drag it all the way up to where it reads digital locker and it'll take it out of the folder completely and put it on its own back into the root folder the way it was before. So let me show you that again. If I get this gaggle logo footer image and I drag it up here to digital locker right up here, it'll take it out of the folder and put it into the root folder where it was originally right in there. Okay. So folders can be used to help you organize your documents and your files inside your digital locker so that you're not driving yourself crazy trying to find file in a sea of files which we, you will eventually have.